There are 84,000 Dharma paths in Buddhism. Those who can develop faith in the Pure Land way have truly obtained great benefit. Why is that? Because Pure Land can be practiced and Buddhahood achieved without leaving secular life. All we need to do is have faith in Amitabha's deliverance and recite his name. It's simple and easy. People from all circles and social strata, good or evil, rich or poor, educated or illiterate, are able to recite Amitabha's name, whether at home or amid social activities. In this way, all Amitabha reciters can gain Buddhahood, completing their Dharma learning. On the other hand, if we follow other Dharma paths, we must leave behind our secular lives and seek a secluded environment, perhaps deep in the mountains, to practice assiduously. Even so, can we succeed? That's virtually impossible, given our capabilities. For ordinary beings like ourselves, it isn't possible to avoid committing karmic offenses. As the Kasuda Garbha Sutra says, Among sentient beings in the land of Jambudvipa, the Saha world, not a single act or thought is not a karmic transgression. Every thought that arises in our minds creates negative karma. How can we possibly free ourselves from the cycle of rebirth? Amitabha Buddha understands that the capabilities of us ordinary beings are inferior, that we cannot purify our minds, but only create negative karma day after day. That's why he had to spend five kalpas contemplating his 48 vows, as well as inconceivable, countless eons accumulating merit from the six bodhisattva paramitas. Our unwholesome karma is unimaginably large and heavy. But Amitabha has achieved Buddhahood. No matter how weighty our karma, it cannot impede the deliverance of Amitabha Buddha. Whatever good works we do in this world, they are trivial and not truly virtuous. Genuine virtue stems only from deeds that are totally devoid of ego. Only such merit would allow us to exit the cycle of rebirth and become a bodhisattva. Good works that aren't ego-free are contaminated and false. In the context of seeking liberation through self-cultivation, they aren't really virtuous. Such factors don't mean we should not undertake good deeds. We should. It is a Buddhist obligation to follow the teaching, do no evil, carry out all that is good. Otherwise, we can't even match ordinary people and aren't qualified to be called Dharma practitioners. In the context of liberation, worldly good deeds aren't genuine virtue. We cannot rely on such works to set us free from the rebirth cycle and must rely on Amitabha Buddha. While relying on him, however, we should still do good and avoid evil. It's like our body needing food to keep healthy and warmth in winter. Otherwise, we would fall ill. These things have nothing to do with rebirth, but we must do them nonetheless. Namo Amitabha Buddha